After wandering the seas for more than five years, Hubbard finally came ashore here in the sleepy retirement town of Clearwater, Florida. His goal was to establish an international mecca for Scientology. But according to many insiders, Hubbard was growing more and more vindictive toward those who stood in his way. He created what he called the Rehabilitation Project Force. The people who are assigned to this camp are the worst of the worst. They're, the, they're criminals in Scientology. Hannah Whitfield says the RPF was, in effect, a work camp to rehabilitate Sea Org members accused of insubordination. In May 1978, she says, it was her turn. I had two big men on either side of me who pretty much manhandled me into this room with no windows and it was just a mattress on the floor. And I was locked in this room in the dark for however long it was. Whitfield says that while she was in the RPF, she lived in the garage of the church-owned Fort Harrison Hotel, ate scraps, and worked at hard labor up to 12 hours a day. What was your crime to have been put into this, this harsh program to begin with? My crime was, in a Scientology sense, a very serious one. I was accused of having negative thoughts about Mr. Hubbard. The Rehabilitation Project Force is a part within the C organization where people who have, you know, been goofing up, they can go rehabilitate themselves. But some former members we talked to describe their experience as physically and psychologically punishing and anything but voluntary. I was certainly completely at their mercy. Dennis Ehrlich claims that for one 10-day period, he was actually put under lock and key in the boiler room of the Fort Harrison Hotel. In the middle of one of the rooms was a uh, chicken wire enclosure uh, with a door that, that had a lock on it, and I was placed in there, and the, and, uh, the lock was put on the door. At the time, Vaughn and Stacy Young were high-level public relations officials in the church. At four in the morning, um, one night, Vaughn and I were asleep, and there was a knock on the door, and two security guards were there, and they took me away and to the prison camp. Stacy Young says she was assigned to the RPF for disobeying an order to interrogate a fellow staff member. For part of the time, Young says she was in a room on the seventh floor of the Los Angeles church. Her husband admits he stood by and did nothing to try to get her out. You're being challenged that, you know, what are you? Are you disloyal? Do you, you know, you love your wife more than freedom for the planet? You're, you're going to let people suffer? You know, all this, all this crap is dumped on you. What are you supposed to say? I didn't see Vaughn for several months. I didn't hear from him. I didn't have any correspondence with him whatsoever. He did nothing to try and um, rescue me. I felt that my husband should have rescued me. You know, I didn't take her out. I, I look back at that. That's, I should have just picked her up. I should have just picked her up and I should have just said, if anybody touches me, you're dead. Even after Stacy's release from the RPF, the Youngs remained loyal. But in 1988, Vaughn Young says, the church turned on him too, and he began his own 13-month stint in the RPF. You go through interrogations, hour after hour, day after day, week after week, month after month, breaking you down, breaking you down, breaking you down. A year after Vaughn's release from the RPF, the Youngs say they had had enough. They threw some clothes in the back of their car and fled. Herbert's policy was, as long as you're with us, we'll leave you alone. But if you speak out against us, we're going to dog you and ruin you and destroy you. And that's exactly what they keep trying to do. Former Sea Org member Lawrence Wallersheim won a multi-million dollar judgment against the church. An appeals court judge wrote that while in the RPF, Wallersheim had been forced to undergo a strenuous regime that lasted 19 hours a day. When he tried to escape the RPF, the judge wrote, several Scientology members seized Wallachine and held him captive. They censor the phone calls. Uh, you're not allowed to speak to anyone who's critical. There was no way for anyone to reach me. Scientology has projected a kinder, gentler, more understanding image in recent years. But critics insist that RPF camps continue to exist today. Sworn affidavits point to one at this site, 
a multi-acre spread near Palm Springs, which the church calls the Castile Canyon School. What is the Castile Canyon School? It's a school for the children of Sea Org members. We have seen sworn statements this also is an RPF camp. Is that true? Uh, there are RPF people there, yeah. ABC asked Mike Render if we could take our cameras and go to the school to talk to those inside, but he refused. With a helicopter. Earlier, when German filmmaker Peter Reichelt and his crew set out to see what they could find, this is what happened. You are blocking us. You are arresting us. You are not allowed to do that. A mile from the school, the Germans' way was blocked by carloads of Scientologists. According to the German filmmakers, senior church official Ken Hoden detained them for more than two hours. I'm giving you one last warning. Are you going to leave, yes or no? Fine! I'm placing you under citizen's arrest right now. What's so secret with this organization? What's so secret with this area? 